Run officially unveiled a new version of the famous Z-136 suicide drone, powered by a jet engine instead of using piston propellers like its predecessor. Images of the new drone were released by official Iranian media on November 20, 2023. The modified version is named Syed 238. Analysts say that this UAV will have a greater speed and service ceiling than the Syed 136 thanks to be equipped with a jet engine. The new drone model on display has a new guidance system that appears to use an infrared optical guidance system. Previous side models mainly used initial navigation combined with GPS to attack fixed targets. Developed based on the Z136 model that Russia has widely used in Ukraine, the three Z238s at exhibition represent three different guidance options, including the standard model with an autonomous guidance system based on initial navigation and GPS signals, variants with infrared optical and presumably radar guidance systems were also displayed. The drone with its radar guidance head could serve as an analogy to anti-radar missiles that target emissions from search radars. This capability might be effective in neutralizing and breaching enemy air defense systems. The fuselages of all three drones are unusually black for Iranian UAVs, suggesting the use of radar-absorbing materials, although there is no official confirmation yet. While it is not known whether the drones have entered mass production in Iran, it won't be long until that stage given Tehran's efforts to have a large and diverse inventory of UAVs. It could also be interesting to see if Russia adopts the jet engine feature on its side 136 clone, the Zuranium-2 or Zuran-2. Interestingly, jet power advancements of the side 136 can be considered only a logical progression after Iranian state media unveiled the version in late September. The original pusher propeller drones were powered by the MT-550 piston engine, producing a distinctive sound. The drone sound earned them the moniker Scooter. What kind of the turbojet engine powers the drone is unclear. Analysts, however, believe it could be a commercially available hobby engine shown to aviation and remote control aircraft enthusiasts, with Iranian engineers possibly reserve engineering the simpler power plant and mass producing it with their tweaks and modifications. However, precise information and the engine specifications remain unclear. Like its predecessor, the Z136, the drone is expected to retain the capability of being launched from a stationary platform using a solid fuel booster. Referring to this drone, Iran Defense posted on November 13 saying this Site-136 could serve as Iran's high-end, more expensive loitering munition with jet engines and EO bore for locating targets. It will also be interesting to see the extent of foreign and American components in the new drones given stunning revelations over the last few months about how Western electronics continue to fight their way into weapons made by heavily sanctioned countries. A report in the Washington Post identified that nearly 90% of drone computer chips 
and electrical devices originated in the West and the US. <laughs>